Hello guys, this is XOOX and I'm back here with a little video and this time I'm gonna show you how to speedrun the five sun temples of the east. And, uh, the first one we're gonna go for is the one located directly next to Kindle Waste Spire. So we're gonna fly down and drop pretty much straight into the temple. As always, I am wearing my hawk gear, which enables me to glide with less stamina and we have the ghost glider so that also helps but you can make this glide uh, without so i'm just gonna hang out and we're gonna try and do this as a speed run so as little fighting as possible basically just go in i will though equip this gear here just to mitigate any damage i might receive when trying to bypass enemies uh one thing i will get though is sparks because they're nice to have, right? So, dropping down here, we're gonna head straight into the door. We're gonna head right. I'm gonna bypass this guy. No, that was, sorry, the other way. We're gonna go left. <laughs> and then we're gonna go through here. We're gonna jump across these guys, jump over them, and get back out. Now we're gonna go to the other side. Mind there's our bomb beetles here that might make your life hard. Go in here, push the button, run out immediately, jump. Which now means we can go downstairs. There is a chest down here to the left. Careful, there might be enemies following you. So it helps to put down just in case. We've got the luminous one in legendary. Notice how we've got one beetle trailing us. Let's just kill that. This guy is fairly easy to kill, but we have to because otherwise we're not going to get access to the door. The door we open is this one. Also, make sure you have some lockpicks ready. Uh, so we might want to pick up any metal. Crap, we get a come across. I should have brought that from, uh, from home instead, but we can hopefully just get a few by destroying some stuff here. Let's just see, there are usually at least a few scraps around. It should be at least, right? Ah. So much for speed running, but I should have prepared better. The reason we should have is because the uh, Lockpicks will gain us access to a silver chest. Uh, let's just see if we can get them. How about this one? It's typical, isn't it? Once you want these metal stuff, you're not going to get them. Woodlock, mycelium, fabric. Well, let's get this one at the end. It's right here. It's locked. Go past these guys. Now I'll turn left. Go through here. And go up past these guys. Go past this guy. Go up and left. Jump across. Push the button. Jump across again. Go up to the other side. Down the, at the end here. Push. Now move away. Oh, he almost got me there. Because now we can access access this door. At the end there's a chest. Ring of Ancients. And now basically you're done. You can just oh these are not to be kitted with, especially as melee. Wrong way. So now you can choose whether you want to spend time getting some metal and getting this chest. It's not paramount. Or you could just run out, because that was the uh, end chest. And that concludes this table. So once you're out and in a safe distance, we can pass travel. We are gonna go to Kindle West again. Now, this next one isn't exactly a gold chest or but it, it's if you haven't already found it. This is how you're gonna get the ghost glider. 
And you can actually get that without having to fight most of the way. So, we're back out here. We are gonna... Let me see, do I have any UKs? I think I actually parked those back home, that was silly. Well, we're gonna glide across to that temple over there. We're gonna equip this. And this. Then we're gonna... Yep. And we're gonna fly as long as possible. Depending on your current glider, you might want to hike a little bit to the right here, and then you can kind of swing in. If you haven't got a level that is appropriate, by that I mean this route that we come across now is deadly for you. You could, with the right set of gear, be able to just glide so you barely touch this route, but make it out in time before you die. Uh, but that would be a case of trial and error, I guess. But what we're going to do here is we're going to stay on the mountain. Because if you land down in the base, you're going to face two matrons along with their henchmen. We don't want to do that. You don't have to press the button here. Because you can basically, you can basically jump across here. Like this. Now you're already inside. So you do need to just open the door here, but it's effortless. That's one button. Then we have another button out here. And up. No, down. Sorry. And then we have a hidden shelf here. Put that one. And then the last one is up here. Because that opens the door here. Oops, stay clear of those, they will kill you. Almost died there, that was silly, and I do that a lot of times. So now I put your gear. Up here you will have to combat two dragons, or at least one. We can try to navigate past them, and let's see how we do with that. Here. Is it just? And then um, we really want to get up there, but we can't without going around. And there's a dragon around the corner. So I have been trying a few times to find a way to actually avoid these because I'm, I'm just annoyed by fighting these all the time. Go up here. Grab this, go up. And this is why you actually need the lockpick ready, unlike me. He will fly inside with you. If you don't close the door. Sometimes he will anyway. Once you get up here, it's basically just get the gold chest. And you have a ghost glider. And from this point on, you could jump directly down to this gold chest that's hidden behind here. But I already took that, so there's nothing to show. And that's for another video, I guess. But that concludes that temple. So now we can move to, to take Haunted. I made a home up here. We just want to get some elevation here and mark it. Now don't fly directly towards the marker because the entrance is slightly to the left. We're going to pass this red mountain here. We're going to land on a slope that leads up to the entrance. So, now you can choose to fight these, or you could just run past them. Oh. Same thing again, just make sure to activate the spawn point. Run in, run past all this, careful of the spawn. Get the sparks. So, there is a sword knight on here, just so you know. That will come after you. So, oh, forgot about the lockpick here. 
So, just gonna run out. Actually, let's see if we can make at least a few. And there are metal uh, stuff up here. So, we're gonna kill these guys anyways. Make a few of these so we don't get into the same problem again. Okay, running back down. Let's see, you can actually help yourself by luring this guy a little bit. Can I do like this? Because then you can glide down, and it gives you some time before he comes back down. Cross. Head up here to the right. Pause for a moment so they catch wind of you. Run here. Press the button. Now you can cut them this way. Kind of avoid them or keep them at a distance. Now go left. Put the button here. This here down is a chest with only explosives. Now go down, silver chest. Take that. Go down, this will engage the bot boss fight, but you can drop down to the chest immediately. Pick it up. Keep racks. Now get out. Boss is a bit annoying. There we go. As this guy, so he doesn't hurt you. And run out. And that's literally, what was that? Less than a minute. If you're prepared, unlike me, forgot the lockpicks. And music determines that we are safe. Ensemble complete. Now, let's grab this one here. We're gonna go to my home I made up here on the top. Of course, it makes sense if you haven't killed the boss yet, you, you, know, you could do so because he does drop an item and or quests and all that. I think you actually need uh, his head for one of the quests, so you would have to do it. But this is just for farming purposes. I'm uh, gonna mark that. And it's literally, I made the altar right here, so it's right down below. Just need to get past the clouds here. There we go. Again, we can just drop straight down into the temple. There is a guy in here, I think. With the dual wheel. Yep. Whee! Just ignore him, run past here. Careful of the barrels. Kite him. Get the sparks. Whoops, that was close. This time you need to go. Just lock the gear. But the dual wheel guy is already gone. Now we get inside. Get up. Go left. Go left. Keep going left. Keep going left. Jump behind the chest. If you have a staff like this, that helps. And then you can get the first silver chest here. Bell binder gloves. Apparently this guy didn't want to play, so we can just... Oh, I hate when it does that, it takes the time to change gear. Okay, ignore that. There's a bomb in here. Oh, I'm gonna die. No. Survived. Now we can just run. Glide, press the button, ignore the chest, it's just explosives. That's your first button for the main door. 
I'll go across the room here where you came down. Open here. Take the first level on the right. Take the second level on the left. Door open. Go into that room, press this button. Oops. And that's the second button for the main door. Just glide out again. They will give up following you. Here, yeah, just jump across. Once. Twice. Open door. No enemies in here, just a chest. We got the ornate wood bow, epic. And that concludes this temple. So let's fast travel out. We got this one, we got the haunted, we got that one. We also got the glider, and the final one is here. So we're gonna go to I made a home on top of pillow creation. Like so. And then I found out you can actually just get up here. And since we didn't bring in Yukas, I'm just going to grab a sugarcane here to help replenish stamina. Where did it go? Was that just weeds? That's annoying. Sugarcane, there we go. Get up top here, up to this platform. Once you're here, just make sure your stamina is replenished. We're gonna aim, let's use my helmet's pointer, we're gonna aim for that slope here. Just fly away. As you can see, if I had had yucca fruits, the stamina bar wouldn't have been moving at all. But even now, it's barely declining at so yeah, having all this gear with stamina and stamina regen and food really helps getting good long glides, as well as when you're, you know, digging or mining or whatever. So yeah, really helpful. Makes a huge difference. Once you get to this point, there will be a dragon that spawns. It does that every single time you come in here. Don't worry, just keep running. If you run, you can outrun it. He's there. Just run out this hill. Jump if you have to. Or double jump. Like that. More dragons. They will at some point attack you. You can just ignore that. Or try to attack you. Glide across. Now have faith here. Jump down to this ledge and then jump and jump. Glide. Then you land on top of the temple. We're gonna jump down. And we're gonna go in through this window. And I'm just gonna... Have a look at these here because they often have useful mats. In this case, they didn't. Uh, a little bit. I was looking for, hoping for, you know, elements like uh, bars and such. In this room, you also find the desert temple block. And here's a piece of lore that you need for um, quests, I think. And rocks. Now we go down. There's. Let's see, down this stage, there we go, and right here in the next room we have gold chest, sun hammer, 25 rare, and that's it for the final sun temple. Now, since I'm here, I'm just going to show you the final one, I usually do all these in like a specific route to kind of cover it most efficiently. And when I do this, I usually go out here and go across to this one here that's in a scavenger camp. So we're gonna... Either you can choose to break the window, or you could also just run up here. And uh, jump from here. And now I'm gonna use a wisp just to have some light. Where did he go? Oh, no mind. Okay, so we're gonna glide. There's the entrance over here. Uh, it's pretty hard to see it. In the dark, right here. Usually, if you get a good glide, you can just fly all the way through this canyon without interruption, like so. Now it's time to run, run, run. We're gonna mark this so we know where to go. Go 
that long glide there. And you're gonna hike around here and go across these buildings. There is a chest down in this uh, building here, it has a tomb or cellar. This one is just purely mat. So do those if you need. Like there's a saffron here, I'm gonna pick that up. Jump up and across, and you won't be able to see it just yet, but the camera's right over there. And we'll spawn in as we get closer. There we go. I usually land right here, and then just jump and fly to that point here. Go behind the tent, jump across the trap, and there's a gold chest. I just want, and usually I just you know check these uh, things here. Go and let's fast travel out to safety. I'm gonna go back to my camp in this case to empty my bags. And this that concludes this video on how to clear the Sun Emeralds um, in speedruns. So, yeah, I hope you found it useful. I uh, also hope, of course, you're gonna try them, do them properly where you kill all en enemies and get the uh, loot and whatnot. But for now, that's it for this video. I uh, hope to see you again in the next one. Take care and bye.